Network slicing is a capability used in 5G networks to create virtual networks or portions or slices within the actual physical network. Each slice in network slicing is able to cater to different use cases. Now, what does that mean? Let's understand that in plain English. So, for example, let's say as a customer, you're looking for high-speed mobile broadband, right? So in that case, you may be served by a network slice that is able to maintain higher bit rates and lower latencies. On the other hand, if you have a use case like smart meters, let's say you want your smart meter to send periodic readings, energy readings for electricity and gas to your energy provider, then in that case, you can have a network slice, let's say, that can maintain lower bit rates and higher latencies even so that you don't end up using or consuming unnecessary network resources. That way, your mobile operator can make sure that the network resources are utilized efficiently and higher resources are only assigned to use cases where they're actually needed. Okay, now let's dive into the details of network slicing to see what it is, how it works, and why it's used in the network. Network slicing is a capability in 5G networks that allows mobile operators to offer a bespoke service experience to their customers based on the service they are trying to use. Bespoke or customized or tailored service experience means a service-centric network where the network resources are customized to the type of service being delivered. For example, if I'm trying to make a voice call on my 5G phone, my network needs will be very different from someone trying to watch an HD movie on their smart TV using 5G mobile broadband. With network slicing, a mobile operator can virtually split an overall mobile network into logical or virtual portions such that each portion, known as a slice, can serve a specific service type. Each mobile phone or device, collectively known as User Equipment, UE, can connect to multiple network slices at any given time. A single mobile network can have many network slices. Have a look at an example on the right. In this example, we have one slice per service, for example, voice call, mobile broadband, cloud gaming, smart meters, and self-driving cars. Network slicing is based on network virtualization principles, and it belongs to the same league as SDN, Software Defined Networks, and NFV, Network Function Virtualization. In network slicing, the end-to-end -end network is separated logically, virtually, to ensure the fulfillment of agreed quality of service, QoS, and service level agreements, SLAs. It requires the end-to-end -end mobile network to work together and play a role in allocating network resources to each slice. The overall mobile network consists of three types of networks, radio network, core network, and transport network. The core network is about creating different network functions that can be tailored to the type of service provided by each network slice. The radio network provides resources for the air interface for network slices, that is, time and frequency resources. The transport network is about providing bandwidth to connect the radio and core networks. Transport networks can use dedicated bandwidths for network slices through technologies like Flex Ethernet. When discussing mobile communications in general, especially the different generations of mobile networks, we mainly focus on radio and core networks. In 5G network slicing, transport networks play a major role. A transport network connects the radio network to the core network. Since the bandwidth requirement in 5G is significantly higher than in the earlier generations of mobile networks, the role of the transport networks is crucial. The radio network in 5G is called the Next Generation Radio Access Network, NGRAN, and the core network is called the 5G Cloud Native Core Network, 5GCN. The 5G core network is software controlled and employs a service-based architecture, SBA. 
Each slice is dedicated to a specific service type and is provided with virtually dedicated resources over a common physical network architecture. The concept of hard and soft network slicing is a topic of discussion in the context of 5G transport networks. Hard slicing is when the transport network resources that is bandwidth has a hard isolation, meaning dedicated circuit switched separation for individual slices. Soft slicing or soft isolation is achieved through statistical multiplexing where the isolation is not dedicated but resources are shared and allocated based on priority. While network slicing is a capability introduced in 5G standalone networks, 5G SA, that require a 5G core network, it is not the only network type that supports network slicing. According to the telecom vendor Nokia, enabling network slicing in 4G LTE and 5G non-standalone networks, NSA, is also possible. The service types in network slicing can be divided into at least three primary use case classes or service types. Enhanced or Extreme Mobile Broadband, EMBB, Massive Machine Type Communication, MMTC, and Ultra Reliable Low Latency Communication, URLLC. EMBB is about high speed mobile broadband where the main requirement is high bit rates, for example, home broadband. URLLC is about critical services where 99.99% reliability is required with latencies below or around 1 millisecond, for example, self-driving cars and industrial machines, etc. MMTC is about services requiring low-powered communication at a large scale, for example, IoT sensors. The use cases in 5G are not limited to just these service types and there is no hard limit on the number of slices a mobile operator can choose to have. For example, for the vehicle industry, it is possible to have use cases around self-driving cars, safety information, infotainment, etc., which will have very different needs in terms of latency, reliability, and bit rates. Network slicing allows mobile operators to offer dedicated network capabilities to their customers based on various use case types. For example, fixed wireless access, public safety, self-driving cars, cloud gaming, mobile broadband, and many more. It creates new revenue opportunities by enabling innovative business models and maximizes the return on network investments by efficiently using network resources. The problem network slicing solves is that instead of having a one-size-fits-all network, it allows a mobile operator to utilize the same physical network to deliver services with very different needs. 5G caters to a vast range of use case types with different technology needs. For example, if a customer wants to use 5G as a home broadband service, the critical requirement there will be the bit rates, megabits per second, even if the latency is slightly higher. If, however, communication is required for a self-driving car, the requirement on latency is expected to be very strict. You can download these slides and supporting information from comsweef.com slash comsweef hyphen products. There's also a direct link to the download page in the description below. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I've written a detailed post on this topic and the link is in the description. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new videos all the time.